That is delightful. Just having a little snack. <laughs> That's us, look. <laughs> look. Do I have a beard? You must have a beard because that one is clearly me. <laughs> Asleep. <laughs> Oh look, Sleeping Beauty finally joined the light. See, you should read this, the, that character. Or, oh, more like Land of the Living Dead. <laughs> Am I, I right? dabbed backwards just to be annoying. Ha <laughs> ha, how long was I asleep? Too long. You've been missing all the fun. <laughs> how long? 20 minutes, give or take. It's fucking nothing, man. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for waking me up, I just wanted a little shot. Uh, you couldn't last 20 minutes without heavy metal. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. <laughs> I thought that was the most me response. The way I see it, I'm doing you a favour by keeping you awake. <laughs> How did you arrive at that conclusion? Come on, man. It's the undead apocalypse. This is the most epic, most metal thing that's ever happened. <laughs> ever. <laughs> In the history of the world. How can you go to sleep at a time like this? Well, I'd really like to... <laughs> But between the undead and you cranking heavy metal at volume 11, I've been awake for way too long. Shut up for a second! <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Are we gonna... <laughs> okay, that's not what I thought was gonna happen, but cool. Man, <laughs> she's that was awesome! Like, yes! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> stop complaining about loud music. I can see forever. <laughs> that's metal sacrilege. The Undead Apocalypse has provided the only chance to blast some tunes without the neighbours complaining. Because they're dead. You know, since they're all dead now. <laughs> where are we? Where are we headed? We'll end up dead if we don't have a plan. I don't even know where we are. Uh, where are we headed? Somewhere safe. With plentiful food, clean water, and beautiful women that will cater to our every whim. That sounds like a made-up place. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> we couldn't stay in the apartment for much longer. We need food. I need meat. You're as bad as those things out there, Melissa Ronnie. <laughs> Come on, Hog. We've been trapped in the apartment for a whole month. If it were up to you, we'd still be back there. I told you it was me. <laughs> playing video games and farting ourselves to death. I told you it was me. Eating our dwindling supply of canned beans. <laughs> At least the undead didn't come near our apartment. We seem to be safe there. Maybe your rancid odour was driving them away. Perhaps. I'm proud of my exquisite bouquet. <laughs> it's a challenge being in a confined space with you. We'd better find somewhere to stop soon. I know what you mean. I gotta pinch a loaf. Charming. <laughs> That's fucking delightful. I've never heard that phrase before. <laughs> anyway, hello everyone! <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the Metal Dead! My name is Hawkward, and I'm joined once again by the lovely Mel. Hello! And I found this point and click adventure comedy horror zombie thing, and I thought it looked like a lot of fun. So we're going to jump right in, as we just did. Interact, look, talk, walk. Just click when they do the things. Yep. I don't have time to play with myself. Don't lie! <laughs> There's always time. That come in handy. You never know when you might need to make something smell mountain fresh. Ooh. Oh, cool. I'll take that. Number one, I'm not leaning outside the car. <laughs> Number two, I really don't want to touch... Whatever that is, I'm hurt. Oh, I wanted an eyeball. Number three. Well, I think number one and two are good enough. <laughs> That's not anything, is it? Uh, I'm gonna touch you. <laughs> Even if every woman on the planet turned into a walking corpse, I still wouldn't touch Ronnie. <laughs> I've seen you eyeing me, Malcolm. You'd have to deny it. I know I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> It's just us, we have the road to ourselves. It's a good time to release my inner hoon. What the fuck is a hoon? <laughs> I'm regretting being in this car with you. Relax, I'm an awesome driver. Do you know what a hoon is? Nope. Okay, cool. That is absolutely disgusting. Brutal. Yes. Totally brutal, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> right, uh, I'm gonna talk to you. You're gonna look at me. <laughs> Your enjoyment of all this bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a little bit perverse. Aren't you scared? Our lives are in danger and you're smiling like a maniac. What the hell is wrong with you? I think that was meant to be you. Yes, it was. I did wonder why you were reading it. Well, I've done it. <laughs> um, that one. 
I mean, all were accurate, to be fair. What can I say? This is like a dream come true. <laughs> all those horror movies. All those apocalyptic death metal albums. They were preparation for this. The dead are walking. <laughs> and more people are dying as we speak. I know. Ain't it grand? <laughs> You're a stereotypical mis- misanthropic metalhead, Ronnie. You give us all a bad name. And if you'd taken time to wash yourself this week... I'd risk slapping you right in the beard. <laughs> hey, the only thing stopping me from bathing is the fact that I don't trust the water. That's fair. What if it's the source of the infection? Like cabin fever. We've been drinking it, though. I've been showering in it for the past month. You know, ever since the undead took over. I'm fine. Define fine. Um... Not smelling like rancid garbage? Gross trash is so metal. Forget it. (laughs) So since it's not the water that's causing the infection, how do you propose we find out what's caused all this mayhem? The undead horde seem to be headed in this direction. By employing my infallible logic, I figure something special is going on over this way. That's why we're following them. Wait, wait, wait. We're going toward the undead infestation? Seems like a good place to start investigating, right? No. <laughs> Turn this thing around. Put this thing back where it came from. I so help me. Have a little faith, Malcolm. <laughs> it's like following the Necrobrick Road. Necro, not Necro. I can't read. <laughs> I said turn around. Nope. <laughs> Necro was Japanese for cat. <laughs> I would love I'd a love cat brick road. road. Just meow. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> lovely, sexy backseat. Every single one of those stains tells a story. Oh yeah. All those late night burgers. Mm. All those metal concerts where we down too many beers. Ah. Puke stains. That back seat is like a diary of good times past. <laughs> See that big distinctive stain back there? Yeah, I do. Did I ever tell you I lost my virginity in this car? I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure what else to interact with, to be honest. Touch. <laughs> Touch Touchy. Ooh. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm not going to let you and your beard kill us both. <laughs> let go. No, turn around. Not on your life. <laughs> that is definitely how we're going to die. Not even a real argument, though. It's going to be like, I want to go to McDonald's and you want to go to Pizza Hut. Well, not Pizza Hut, because that barely exists anymore. I but... would always choose McDonald's over Pizza Hut. Good. <laughs> Despite my love for pizza. Yeah, Pizza Hut wasn't the best choice. Okay, McDonald's or Domino's? McDonald's. Wow. See, I go Domino's because as much as I love McDonald's, I get hungry again after like 20 minutes. That's true. It's like eating air. Very tasty air, but still air. I love Domino's uh, dough balls. Mm, But Domino's are much more expensive though. They are. So I guess it's a budget thing too. (laughs) I like the little zombies. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Biters. Oh. There's you. Oh no! METAL DEATH! That one has boobs. Which one? The one right at the end. Oh, I didn't see. I think the one in red might have as well. Uh, Possibly. Oh. This looks good! Oh, we totally crashed. Okay, shit. Uh, My head. What happened? I must have been thrown from the car. But I don't have a scratch on me. Lucky. That's the last time I forget to wear a seatbelt. Ronnie? I'm so sorry. You killed me. I'll make it up to you, buddy. And fulfil your dying wish. I'm going to find out what caused this undead apocalypse. Yeah, you are. Where the hell did we end up, anyway? Well, that's my acting debut done. I know, right? Because I'm dead. Oh, you were getting so into it as well. <laughs> I was showered in spit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm going to look at you. Oh. Oh, man, this is horrible. What an awful way to go. Okay, so there's a winch thingy. You're a good friend. At least you died violently. You would have been proud. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as though I should say a few words. Ronnie Lambert, may the metal gods rest your soul in a pit of fire and brimstone. (laughs) 
tended to by gaggles of leather-clad women, surrounded by spiked instruments of bodily destruction, while horned demons bang their heads in unison to your choice of brutal death metal. For all eternity. Amen. You would have wanted it that way. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we got like a winch thing here. Can I say that was very heartfelt? Yeah, it was, it was. I've, it was, yep. Yeah. Winch will only work if I use the crank. Maybe I should try that. Okay, but we don't have anything to connect it to yet anyway, so. Uh, it's all jammed up. I'd lube it up somehow. Can I use your viscera to lube up the crank? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me the keys, thank you. Don't touch me. <laughs> I let the hand is just hovering over yeah. your crotch. <laughs> Aww, I'm refusing to strip you. I'm beautiful. <laughs> I like that your arm's over here. Can I take it? Aww. Aww. That's not true. You can never have too many appendages. Can I take your eye? No. <laughs> I'm talk to you. <laughs> no, that's the same thing. Do you want the beans, beans. now? <laughs> um, I think that's probably pretty much everything here. So let's go have a look at the trunk. I guess so. See what the key. If I can. Oh, there's zombies in the way, possibly. It seems to be keeping its distance. I wonder why. That is a good point. Zombies tend to do that. <laughs> Looks like something is bothering them. <laughs> yeah, it's my dead body. <laughs> the car is completely totaled. How I survived that crash is anyone's guess. So was there someone actually in there, or did we just crash into a car that was in the middle of the mm. road? Or is that our car? Is the grey one ours? In which case I can get to the trunk. Okay. Uh, I thought the blue one was ours. That's what I thought. Let's see if we can do that then. Ah. Yes. I wonder if Ronnie's had anything int I wonder if Ronnie's Ronnie had anything interesting besides metal albums and pornography, of course. Tire iron. Gimme. Okay, so we've got tire iron now. Excellent. What about these guys? Look extremely perturbed, but they're not trying to eat me and I'm not sure why. I wonder if it is just because you smell so bad. <laughs> it could be the smell. There's a red car over there by the hall. It's empty and it's probably locked. It's also too close to the hall to get a good look inside. Okay. I can't get there because the thingies are in the way. I need to find a way inside. Yep. Maybe I can go over here? It might lead somewhere else. Aha! Oh. Hiya! <laughs> it's an ad for cigarettes. It says... Ibex tobacco, now with 36 new chemicals for that rich, smoky, steakhouse flavour. Cartoon mascot has a speech bubble extending from his mouth. It says, Unlike the rest, our brand will put hair on your chest. Malignant ne neoplasm, I think that's it, before it disappeared? I'm not sure. Neoplasm is so cool. Hell yeah. Headline is the dead walk. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Ooh, a coupon. I want to know who he's eating. You want to know who the zombie's eating? Yeah. Should we go ask him? Okay. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Biter. Who are you consuming? <laughs> uh, okay. Hello. Just says someone. Okay. We'll miss you, someone. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> zombie movie. Rise, Rise of, of the, the Stiffs. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like an ultimate porn film. <laughs> Sounds like something Ronnie would go see. I think I was in that, you know. <laughs> I was thinking maybe like the garb, you know, like trash bags and stuff. They get like juicy. Yeah, I know. What I was you mean. thinking like garbage juice could, could be like a loop. Loop it. Yeah. See, we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> Can I throw a can of beans at his head? What? I, I, I wasn't offering them as a snack. Yeah, what if you put the air freshener near the like the rubbish? Will you go near it then? That's a good shout. I like that. Good lateral thinking. No, not uh, industrial strength. Too worth strong. A try. It was worth a try. That was a good idea. I didn't think that. I wouldn't have thought of that. Oh, okay. Uh, I was like, do it then. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> I like just it. stood there. I could probably do that. Yes, you're right. But I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I still stink. I don't think we have anything else to use. I'm not no. going to beat you with a tire iron as much as that would amuse me. <laughs> yeah, we're getting uh, Pat's okay. oil, so we can use that to lube up the thing. Okay, that was no help whatsoever. That's a big building. <laughs> 
Thanks, guy. <laughs> Tell us what you want us to do. Man. What do you want, man? What do you want? Maybe I can like strip you off and soak your top or something. <laughs> Maybe. We're doing everything in our power to help him, and he's just like, nope, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna use the beans. <laughs> Good old beans. If the can of beans is empty, maybe I could scoop up some oil. Eat the beans! <laughs> Just eat them then! God damn it! If you know it'll work, eat the beans. Yeah, I don't understand. It's always the way with these things. I can never get the first clue, and then once you get going, it's really, it's really easy. But it's just that first one, you're just like, what do I do? Can you get the window open with the... Ah. I thought of that just as you were saying it. Hey, hey. good shout. <laughs> I knew you were thinking of it. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I better be quiet. Surely you would have heard the <laughs> window be like cracked open with a nah. tire iron. Can we beat him to death? Ooh. Oh. I didn't think he was going to do it. Like, every, like, oh no, I'm not touching that. But yeah. I'll beat a biter to death. <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. Alright, Malcolm. On the count of three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> <laughs> Me. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> Straight through the eye. That was probably a little extreme. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I feel like I lost my virginity. It's covered in head, head goo. goo. Same. Oh! Oh, we didn't open the chest of drawers. I didn't realise that that was going to work. I thought he was just going to look at the blood. A giant water tank. Interesting. Okay, right. Yes. Stop talking so we can go back. <laughs> we want the chest of drawers. Too soon! I bet it's locked after all this. Hello. Oh. <gasps> beans? Is that more beans? Oh, nails. <laughs> nails. <laughs> Wrong colour for beans. God damn it. What about the other? Okay, we can only look at one draw. Oh. One draw at a time! We made our decision. Oh. <laughs> I was about to be really annoyed that he couldn't do it without the tire iron, but it went. God damn it. Zombie mannequin, why? <laughs> oh, I may have shit myself. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> you still love me, right? Uh... <laughs> okay. There's no good reason to go dragging this thing around. But I want a friend! Well, you loved Ronnie and he stank, so... Exactly. What about this crate? No. Nope. <laughs> That's how it would fit into my pocket. Ha ha ha. But you could use it as a weapon, like, to keep them back. I guess more of a shield than a weapon. That's what I meant. <laughs> you look surprisingly sentient. What yes. do we have here? A fresh specimen? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That, that is, is a, a true, true shame. shame. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be evil. <laughs> this seems like, like a do with, with that body. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is awkward. I should probably be going. Nonsense. I see now. <laughs> you must be my new lab assistant. Yeah. I am Dr. Frit... Uh, who? <laughs> and you are here, Malcolm. Certainly. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> it is such a shame. <laughs> He was bitten, bitten by one of those, those undead, undead creatures, creatures out there. there. <laughs> I had to lock him in the boiler room. Oh, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He might be a little bit dead. But he was already dead. Definitely a little more dead now. This is such a shame. <laughs> he was a smart boy. Strong and fit. His body was in prime condition. Thankfully, you are here now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not actually, uh... Quiet! I have an errand for you to run. <laughs> that one? I, 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 there wasn't really one to accept, so... <laughs> Why do you ask me this? Are you implying that I'm involved with the apocalypse somehow? No, I just want to do zombie shit, man. <laughs> well, you should not be implying this. I wasn't! Alright, then. Gosh. My work is unrelated to the undead, you see. Ah. Uh. Here at Medi... Medi... Medigenititi... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my first language is not the English. Really? <laughs> I sometimes I'll be having these troubles with, how do you say, pronouncing the company name? I can see how that could be a problem. Anyway, what do you do here at Medigenitech? 
Oh, they do many, very exciting things. Such as? Well, I'm personally in charge of the genetic splicing department. We work on things that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Too many this and this and blah, blah, blah. I will not venture to explain such things to a layman such as yourself. Yeah, that clearly has nothing to do with zombies. After many failed tries and destroyed specimens, I have credited the world's first... <sighs> land sloth! What? <laughs> <laughs> My work has been a complete success. Sloths don't live under... <gasps> a complete success! <laughs> I like this guy. Can we keep him? <laughs> um, what does he want me to do? Yeah. The body is pulsing. Yes, it is. Oh, I'm so excited that you have asked me that. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Those wonderful undead creatures you see walking around outside? <laughs> I have figured out a way to communicate with them. I thought you said your work was unrelated to the undead. Well, some of it is. <laughs> No surprises there, really. Please, Herr Malcolm, I need your assistance. <laughs> I would like you to bring me the fresh head of an animated corpse. Do you think you could be doing this favour for poor old Uncle Fritz? I guess so. Fantastic. What if I need to use the elevator out there? It is currently deactivated. Yeah, that's kind of my problem. And I only have an access card to the lobby area. Is there any chance that you could... Find it in your heart to lend me that card? I am not sure I am understanding. The only thing I would find in my heart is a complex network of veins, arteries, and ventricles. Not really, but okay. It's a figure of speech. Oh, I see now. No. Why not? Because, as my new lab assistant, I would require you to bring me a specimen before I can give you the card. <sighs> to remove a head cleanly without damaging the brain, you will need a tool. Like a machete? I am sorry. It seems that I have misplaced my scalpels. <laughs> you will have to find another way Scalpel. to remove the head. Here, take this rag. Why? Ah, a rag. Soak up the oil. You will need it to clean yourself up. But why, why not? not? <laughs> uh, welcome. I have a spare set of surgical gloves. Go on, give me. I'm gonna if the idea of right examining the body more closely excites you... Well, I wouldn't go that far. I will not be the one to stand in the way. That's very kind of you, but, uh... Zoot yourself. <laughs> zoot. <laughs> zoot zoot. Oh, we should get zoot zoots. Zoot zoot. <laughs> what happens if I touch this? Don't want me touching that! I am cooking my breakfast burrito in there. <laughs> oh. Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want me touching that. <laughs> my breakfast burrito. Oh. Don't touch it. <laughs> I don't want to unzip the body bags. But why not? Those specimens are particularly fascinating. <laughs> You've got a little bit injured. I there. know. <laughs> I love how I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> I just love pushing. Don't touch that, please. <laughs> Your primitive intellect wouldn't understand alloys and zings with molecular structures. I wonder what would happen if I pulled this cable out. Keep away from that cable! <laughs> if you fiddle with it, you will re risk destroying many hours of work. Hours of work? Yes, many hours of work. <laughs> I'll leave it alone then. <laughs> I just want to keep clicking on things and making you do that terrible accent. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. So we killed his assistant. We did kill his assistant, and now we need to go get a head. So if we try using the rag like you suggested, hopefully to get in the trunk and then hopefully there'll be like a saw or something in the trunk uh, we're already in the trunk it's for the winch uh, oh yeah the trunk had the uh, That's tire, right. tire iron tire iron. iron that's quite hard to say oh, oh shit man oh a specimen <laughs> <laughs> did you not figure out that we'd be using Ronnie's head I didn't really think about it ah uh. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know whose head we need. I was too busy thinking about this bit first. Mmm, that was a delightful Lovely. sound. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Oh. Don't worry, it'll be over in a minute. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to do this to you, Ronnie. But it might be for the best. Oh, that's lovely. Brutal. <laughs> Ronnie would have loved this. 
<laughs> Feckenheim. Feckenheim. Don't think that was what his name was. Feckenheim. <laughs> Please don't make me do that accent again. <laughs> well, you did. I didn't tell you to. It's like it's my fault. Hello. I got your present. It's my buddy's head. It's my friend's face. <laughs> Yes, well, I'm better than Victor, so... Oh, I just got it. Victor Frankenstein. Uh... Why is his head still moving? Because he's still alive, he hasn't destroyed yeah. the brain. <laughs> a chainsaw. <laughs> Seriously. You've had this thing all along. Of course. <laughs> Rude. There you go. I was scared to click that in case, like, it just went, Oh, you want me to chainsaw the doctor? No! <laughs> I am a brilliant assistant, thank you. Fair for that. <laughs> Precise opening of the sensory cortex. Will I try that? Oh, you have to be quiet. I don't want to be quiet. It's very delicate. Fine, I'm going to eat your burrito. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to eat the burrito. Then we take the drill. Yeah. Where did he get that from? What the fuck? Surprise! <laughs> <He's back laughs> <'cause... laughs> Voila. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh no, this is just a nightmare. Just a nightmare. You've had this German snuff porn movie <laughs> nightmare before, Ronnie. <laughs> You'll wake up from this one, one any second now. I'm afraid this is no nightmare, my friend. <laughs> Explain the situation to your friend, Herr Malcolm. Uh, so I severed your head and then we stuck a drill in it. Um, now you can talk again, but you're a zombie. No, so. I'm an awesome driver. How could this happen? Uh, it was your fault. No! Yeah, sorry. Wait a minute. If I'm dead, how am I alive? You're alive because I'm a genius! <laughs> <laughs> I've left a device in your skull that overrides the undead condition that allows you to speak as if you were perfectly fine. <laughs> oh uh, you still want to eat people, but uh, who hasn't wanted to do that from time to time? That was a joke. An undead metalhead. <laughs> Hell yeah. But apart from not having a body anymore, that's kind of cool, right? Really? You think so? Hell yeah. Think the chicks would dig it? I mean, I've seen Reanimator, so yeah. I guess I can live with this. Well, I'm glad that you're happy with the results of the surgery. <laughs> Hello, <Hell laughs> no. you can take the specimen now. My work of healing is complete. Specimen? Don't worry about it. It's fine. So, do you need to pick me up? I do. I'm gonna pick you up and put you in my pocket. And here we are, friends united at last. You sure you're gonna, you're gonna be alright carrying me around? Shouldn't be a problem. I'd be a little con uncomfortable at first. Where are you going to put me? Up my ass. <laughs> no, not there. Anywhere but there. <laughs> That's where all things go. Got, Got ahead. ahead. Ay. Ay. Well, on that delightful note, <laughs> I'm going to leave this episode here. That was so weird. Mm. I like this going on. It's a lot of fun. It's a... Uh, I like the a little really, bit of silliness. I like the really accurate drawing of the body in the top left. That's a good point. Like Everything else shark. is like really cartoony. And, on the top, yeah. on, on the right, <laughs> and then got like an anatomical model. Nice. So I like sharks. <laughs> That's okay. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.